but if we zoom in right here to where this power light is, that's the issue. We've got green. Green usually means power. However, if this sounder, this is what controls the sonar, uh, was working properly, that light would actually be blinking uh, a certain flash pattern or it would turn yellow or turn red. A solid green light on the Garmin uh, GSD-22, that means there is an internal uh, software fault. The, the software is actually locked. We're not sure what's causing it. This is our second unit on this boat. This one was used, so there's, it's hard to say. I mean, it's been in there for about a year now with no problems, then all of a sudden stopped working Memorial Day. So we're gonna be replacing that with the GSD-24, which is the upgraded version, but we have a couple things we gotta worry about. Uh, right here, this is the transducer cable. The transducer cable has a six pin on it. Uh, the new box has an eight pin, so we gotta figure out a solution for that. This is the network cable, just your standard ethernet. Uh, this is part of the Garbin Marine Network. As you can see down in here, there's all kinds of wires and boxes and uh, gateways and things like that. It's just like a, uh, an internet system that you'd have at your office, but just a standard ethernet cable. And then, uh, oh, I'm sorry, that was the power cable. We have to change that. The new power cable has a two pin. This uh, is not the right power cable. So we gotta change that out. The network cable should stay the same. The transducer cable uh, is a six pin. And we do have to change that out because uh, the new, the new uh, sounder has an eight pin. So let's go back up, up, up top and we'll show you the difference between the two of these. So we're out here on the Bonnie Lee, it's 2014 Boston Whaler, and it does have all the 2014 Garmin electronics on it. We'll flip around just real quickly. Kind of got a mess going on on the boat right now, because I'm filming this in uh, different segments. So when I put it all together on the back end, it's gonna be kind of different than how I'm filming it. But uh, we've got uh, Garmin 7212, pair of those chart plotters. Those are independently GPSed. Uh, vessel view, of course, our, uh, our uh, standard horizon. VHF, we have our uh, Fusion Audio link uh, right there. We have our autopilot right there, and of course our fly-by-wire throttle system. So everything here works. It is circa 2014, uh, but the problem I'm having on the boat is my sonar module. I keep losing sonar. This is the second time that I've lost sonar now, and it's all because of the Garmin GSD-22 sounder box. Uh, which is actually in my hand right now because I've already taken it out of the boat. Uh, but this is it right here. This is the brains of how sonar works. This networks via an ethernet cable there in the center that networks into the rest of the Garmin Marine network. And uh, that's what gives uh, the readings on my displays here at the helm. Now the problem with these are they no longer make them, so you can only buy these used. And this is our second one. The very first one had the exact same issue we're having now a year later with this one is there's a little power light on there uh, that indicates that there is a software lock. So we're gonna be replacing that now with the next generation GSD-24 sounder by Garmin Marine. Now this one's a little bit different. It does use a two pin, uh, two pin power uh, versus the eight pin power that we have on the GSD-22. So we gotta change out the pigtail that's on the boat. Same network cable and this has an eight pin transducer port uh, as where the GSD-22 has a six pin. Now don't worry because depending on which um, which transducer you have you might already have an eight pin. So we're gonna take a look at that one right now. So down here in the bilgey area I need to clean this up just a little bit. We do have an Airmar uh, transducer. Now what Airmar is that? It's not labeled. Well luckily we come up here we got some nice tags and this tells me that this is the Airmar uh, B60-20, meaning it has a 20 degree angle. And they actually did make the B60 transducer in two models, a six pin early on, and then they changed it to an eight pin uh, just a little bit later. That was a second generation. I looked up the part number and this one should be an eight pin transducer. Uh, now, if you don't have an eight pin transducer for the eight pin sounder, 
you do need to get an adapter and I'll show you that here in just a second. That takes you from a six pin up to an eight pin. Pretty straightforward on how to wire that in. It does require just a little bit more technical savvy, but not a whole lot. Uh, luckily for me, the one we've got down here in the boat does have a pigtail adapter that took it from a six pin plug or an eight pin plug down to a six pin to match the GSD 22. So we just have to simply remove that pigtail and we can plug and play right into the new GSD 24. So let's take a look at the two of these side by side. So looking at these two side by side, we have GSD 22, the older one here on the right, and then we have the newer, much bigger GSD 24 here on the left. Now, obviously, if you're swapping these out, you want to make sure you have space uh, for that. Mine's going to have plenty of space, but the uh, main notable differences are going to be on their connection ports here. We have an 8-pin power port, and we're actually going to a 2-pin power port. So I did have to buy the Garmin 2-pin power supply that's pretty much universal uh, for most of their products nowadays. The network port here in the center is going to be the same, so we don't have to worry about anything there. Now, the transducer port, that's what's going to be different. The old GSD-22 has the 6-pin, and the newer GSD-24 has the 8-pin. So if you don't have a, an 8-pin transducer, you just have to get a, a little box, and that's what's going to be uh, how you connect it in there. Uh, now, if you have an 8-pin transducer already, it's just going to be plug-and-play, real nice and simple. Now, this guy right here is your 6-pin transducer to 8-pin sounder adapter. If we were to pop this cover off, you're going to see a bunch of little connections. You simply strip off the wire end from your transducer, get all the uh, stranded wire separated, and you're going to put those into certain terminal blocks uh, onto this adapter. And uh, luckily, we don't need that, so that's going to save us about 80 bucks overall, and we can send that back. But uh, here is the part number for that box right here. 010-11613-00 6-pin transducer to 8-pin sounder adapter wire block. And that is a Garmin product. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily recommend some of the knockoffs that are out there, although there are a couple. I mean, for the little bit of pennies that you're going to save if you need this, I would rather just go with the Garmin and be done with it. So obviously I've already taken out the old GSD-22 box that was situated in here. And uh, this is the transducer cable. As we can see, that is a six pin right there. But if we follow that pigtail back, lo and behold, there's an adapter. This is the original transducer cable in. This is the adapter on this side. So we just got to unhook this connection real quick. And then this is going to plug directly into the GSD-24. Uh, I also have to cut off the original power supply that came with the GSD-22. Uh, now this does route back into my fuse panel behind this hatch right here and it already has the required uh, 3 amp fuse in there and as you can see that's just not going to work for the new box. Uh, that needs to be a 2 pin so we're going to cut this off and we'll save it just in case somebody needs it down the road and get wired in the new power cable. Once I got the new power cable uh, installed, shrink wrapped, uh, nice waterproof connections. I'll go ahead and screw the box in and then we'll uh, we'll get this thing going. Oh, and while you're doing this project, just make sure that before you start cutting all your power wires and things like that, that you go ahead and turn off your batteries, cut the power, and then just for good measure, I'm gonna pop all my breakers just to make sure everything is 100% disconnected. Okay, so we have the new GSD24 box in here. We got our transducer ran, network cables in, new power cables in, a couple of these loose wires I have to plug into some components that are on the, the door that go around here. I'll show you that, but uh, right now, the next step is let's get uh, this put back on, get the other equipment uh, hooked up uh, that talks to the network. Uh, that's actually my Fel Marine uh, wireless man overboard kit is hooked up and the uh, Sirius XM radio uh, receiver. Uh, so we're in good shape. We're going to go ahead and uh, get this all buttoned up and then we're going to go topside and make sure everything works. May end up uh, having to do, you see I'm sweating like crazy down here. It's a little hot down in this head and I'm uh, six foot two crammed into a small little coffin. <laughs> but uh, we may end up having to update the Garmin Marine Network. Uh, the last time I did an update that should have covered, the software should have covered th this box even though I didn't have it. Uh, but we're going to see if everything works, and if so, we're good to go. And if not, then we'll go ahead and uh, download uh, the newest uh, software updates for everything. 
And just like that, we've got sonar back on the graph. We've got sonar running over here. Not exactly sure what this top bar is though. I'm, not, I'm only in seven feet of water, so that might be just a little bit of a bounce back off the surface. Uh, I'll probably take the boat out here in just a little while and uh, get into some deeper water and see what this looks like. Uh, but so far so good and I am happy with that.